Hello, welcome. I'm Steve Watson, this is Sunday Farm, and this is today's Tai Chi Chuan tip. In the practice here, you can just work on one part of it, or you can do it progressively. I'll describe it progressively so you have an idea where the practice can go. But the general idea is to um, loosey-goosey your hands at the wrist as much as you can. Uh, so very cooked spaghetti or Novocaine or whatever you want to imagine. Go through your form practice, which might normally have this shape and then this shape and then this shape and then that shape and then this shape and this shape and so forth. And just have that same feeling that drives that shape, that same intention, that same chi flow, <coughs> but that it ends at the wrists. Because for your purposes now, you don't have hands. Generally, once we get into our hands, we get into micromanaging and specificity. So they're that sort of a minuscule because they're very um, dexterous and able to apply specifics. So what I want to do is just practice as though there's no hands and so that that same intention in my practice goes out to the end of the arms, perhaps allowing me to focus on the suffusation of energy in the forearms. So I find this particularly happy for practicing Peng Jin and just go through the form the way you would normally go through. Uh, another progressive level, of course, is to just do this to the elbows. So I don't, for all intents and purposes, have any specific function from the forearm to the fingers. And yet I'm doing the same practice. So in my mind, I feel this, but the look is this. I'm having that experience or that expression without this full experience from forearm to fingers, and I'm just going to the elbow. And then again, just going through my form the way I normally would. And then eventually, just to the shoulders. So I have no arms, so I have the same intention, and yet I can't get the arms to go out here. So I'm doing my whole form, or sections of the form, or sections of the drill, with the same intention, as I would here, but without the specificity and certainly without that whole full distal expression. And this can allow me to get smaller and smaller in my functional actions, uh, and in fact, more internal as I go from the external or distal back to the core. So something fun to work on. Good luck with that. And try and be better at the art than your teacher. Thanks.